We're back, YouTube. Went and picked this up. This is the $450 Jeep I picked up. She's rusty, though. I sprayed some rust inhibitor down there. I got to scrape it and spray it again. It's got rust right there. But for $450, bucks, this one sat since last winter. He had it actually parked down a hill on the end of his driveway. And uh, you saw the neighborhood I got it from. So I, he took care of it from day one. Dang it, I locked the freaking door. He took care of it from day one. This guy said it needs some work, you know. She's, he said his kid drove it for the last three years. It's a one owner, and I believe it. Well, it's got to be a two owner because he has 72,000 on the title, and he had to have got it from somebody that put 72 on it. She's dirty as heck. Dog owners, cover your car in plastic if you're going to carry them around. But, I mean it. Let's see it here. Let's start it up. Let's see what it sounds like. Right off the bat, see if it's got any lifter, lifter tick. She's sputtering a little today. So, not running for over a year. Started right up. I got to go get a hood latch. <laughs> that was his fix for that. So we'll be at the junkyard tomorrow. I got this thing takes two hood latches. One there, one there. Yeah, it cleaned up. When you let them sit, man, that's the worst thing you can do to a Jeep. But there's that one. We bought this one yesterday for 800 bucks. It's only got 198k on it. This one sat for three years. I don't know why, but it was in a garage. He said it sat for three years. He put some, changed the oil, put some coolant in it, and it fired right up. But like anything that sits, see that? That's mice. So mice ate the vacuum lines to that, which I've got vacuum lines. This one's spitting and sputtering too. Um, has a misfire, so I thought, okay, mice chewed something with the ignition. I looked it over here. Nothing's chewed up because of the coil over. So thank God we got that. But if you look, I don't know the firing order, the cylinder order on these, but right here, look at that. Injector wire chewed up. So blessing right there. I'll splice them wires. This thing's gonna run good. It's actually really clean. Only 198K. I don't know why it sat for three years but they've owned it since 2010. That's the date on the title. So, and I believe it sat because I can show you a couple things that it smells like it sat in here, but it's clean guys. Like, I mean, look at it. No rust on the rear wells. It's got rust on the back hat. So I think these are like 50 bucks at the junkyard. I'm gonna try to find one the same color. Um, it gets clean. Let's see. Like this quarter was under the seat. Look at it. It was sitting right there where the green, like that, just corroding. Um, but I mean, it fires right up. It ran home. I could tell it's got a pretty good misfire. Um, he was asking 1,072, I guess, but it's whatever. We'll go look at it. Um, I drove it. It shifts great. The motor sounds good, but you can tell there's a misfire. Let's start it up real quick. Uh, and I'm sure it's probably got bad gas in it. I don't know if he went and put gas in it or not. Now that's a, a spotter. If you can hear it. Just put it, put it, put it, put it, put it. So that's that injector wire. One of the, one or two of the injectors are not firing. Got these painted guys. Painted and ready to go on. They're nice and dry. So, and then I taped this off because I'm trying to come up with, what do I do to make it better? You know, if I post an ad that says, if you're looking for a solid vehicle that's gonna run for another 100,000 miles, this is it. You know, if you're looking for a super clean vehicle, 
it's not it, you know. Um, but if you look under here, look at that leaf spring off. The paint's still on it. You know what I mean? Like, if you look in here, look at this one. They don't generally look like that in Michigan. That's usually, you don't see any paint on that. So, you know, that's why I bought it. And it shifts good. The four-wheel driving gauge is good. This is another one of them Jeeps that just needs a really good cleaning and some love. So, my idea is take that off, paint that whole bottom black. Like, this rocker's there. The other rocker's off. And I'll show you that in a second. But, and then this here. I freaking hate that. I hate it when they rust there because there's nothing you can do for it. Um, you know, fender armor, but... Uh, so I started taping it off and then it freaking rained last night so that tapes gonna be fun to get off but I came out look at this just algae it's freaking algae it was parked under a tree it's got pine sap all over it which he told me the secret to that was rain -X. somehow rain -X dissolves pine sap so try that let me know how it works or I'll try it in a video because I'm gonna go buy some so taped off that side painted this side what do you think? You know, that's, it cleans it up. I mean, obviously it's still not a clean Jeep. This side's the worst of the two. Look at this. What do you do with that? You know what I mean? I could build fender armor and clean it up, but then, I don't know. Do I wanna do all that for, I'm not gonna make as much money off this when I don't believe. Um, so I just, you know, from 10 feet, it just cleans it up, you know what I mean? Enough to drive it. I could go to the junkyard, spend, you know, a hundred bucks indoors. I don't know why the right side, there's always one worse side. Like, why doesn't it rust evenly? But look at this rocker. Like I chipped it all off before I painted it. So this rocker, what I do with these is I cut it and I cut it right there. And I cut that out and make it a clean line and then paint underneath there black and it cleans it up. But my dilemma is right now, you know, looking at it, it looks better. But now I'm thinking, maybe I should tape it off right here and just give it the fender armor look. You know what I mean? Do that front fender up to that line and uh, it'll look better. You know what I mean? Let me know what you think. I'm gonna paint the other side, I'm gonna look at it and then I'm gonna decide whether or not, you know, I wanna do that front fender or not. But I still got to get to the junkyard. I got to get hood latches. So I will have time to read your guys' feedback. Um, I'm probably going to get flack for buying such a, you know, rusted one. But for 450 bucks, it runs and drives great. Four-wheel drives great. Hunting season's coming up. You know, hunters love these because they can quietly drive them out into a field farther than their damn Chevy will take them, you know. I've, I've owned lifted Chevys and I've owned stock Jeeps and stock Jeeps do better than a lifted Chevy. Um, they just go through anything. They'll creep through anything. And if you get stuck, you just go back and forth until you're out. And I've never been completely stuck. You know, obviously don't drive through a deep ass mud hole, but if you're going through a muddy field that most cars can't get through, this will get through it. That's why people love these and that's why I love them. So maybe a hunter will buy it or maybe a younger kid, you know. Because obviously once I, I sh take pictures of those uh, control arm mounts, the leaf spring mounts, and show that it is clean underneath and that, you know, Michigan just took toll of that quarter and the doors, God, I should still be able to get. I'm going to make money. I don't care. Even if I made 500 bucks off this thing, who's complaining? You know what I mean? I'm not. For a cleaning, a quick paint job, I mean, it took me 30 minutes maybe to tape both sides. 30 minutes to paint this one side, um, <laughs> 30 minutes to peel the tape off and freaking wipe off all my overspray because I suck. But still, you know, what do you think? I'm going to look at, uh, I'm looking at three Chevy trucks right now. So I may have a Chevy truck, Cherokee, and a Grand Cherokee. I don't know. I don't know. But today I got to go frame in my father's law father-in-law's basement so I'm gonna be doing that I was there till 10:30 last night got most of it framed out ceilings built um, 
got two more rooms to do, so I want to jam them out. I want to go buy another truck. I want to get here, make a big list, and I want to get my butt to the junkyard, and we're going to have a long junkyard video. <laughs> there have been a lot of people telling me I need to shorten up my videos, man, but, like, I don't know. Watch it until you can't watch it, you know what I mean? I don't know, but... I'm gonna start making some shorter videos and some longer videos, like my junkyard videos. I can sit and watch them all day. So even if those were 45 minutes to an hour long, there's people that are, you know, bored at night watching those, and then there's people that can only watch like 10 minutes. But so yeah, stay posted, man. We're gonna be working on the camper, working on this Jeep. I gotta splice some wires on this Jeep. This thing don't really need much. And my son Steel, he really freaking wants this one. So I'm hoping maybe if I make enough money off this and I make enough money off the truck and I'm good, I'll give him this one, you know. He just turned 16 the third. He was asking for a Grand Cherokee. This is probably the best candidate out of all of them, you know. And it's, it's got, you know, that rust color rundown, but the secret to that is the uh, Mr. Clean uh, eraser pads. Takes that right off. So, as well as armor all. You rub some armor all on there, it'll clean that up, it dissolves it. Get him a new hatch. He's already talking about lifting it. Big wheels, but we'll see. 800 bucks is a steal for that in the condition it's in. 198K on that 4.0 motor. Jesus. No chatter. That thing's gonna run for a long time. This thing, 450 into it, I used what three dollars in tape and three dollars in paint on it so far cleaned it up enough to where i could sell it for 1500 you know what i mean if i post it for 1500 i'm selling it no matter what but i'd like to clean it up a little bit more throw it on for maybe 1900 maybe still sell it for 15 but who cares you know that's them latches are going to be about 20 bucks from the junkyard um little things i'll probably have like 40 50 bucks into it so call it 500 if I sold it for 15, that's a grand. Make a solid grand. I got till next Friday to make whatever I'm gonna make off these because I already counted the money I made this week as this week's income. Um, so yeah, that's how I'm gonna do it, man. And then the camper, Britt, Britt wants to be working on that because next weekend we're actually going camping in this. So we really gotta get it done. We gotta go down, get some fabric. I gotta take that tape off. All right, good. Usually, if you leave tape on a car, I've seen it, actually seen it on Goon Squad. Um, if you leave that tape on and it gets wet, it doesn't like to come off, and it rained like a freaking son of a gun last night. So, we'll see. Yeah, see? Now it's coming off. I better get out here and peel this off real quick. But, yeah. God, why, Michigan? I wish we lived in a state where stuff didn't rust. God, I swear I'd probably make a lot more money. It's hard selling stuff like this. You know, it, it takes a lot for me to say, all right, yeah, I'll buy it. There's a lot of factors. And I looked at this thing for probably 20 minutes, and I was like, God, should I? And I was on the fence about it, and I had him talk down to 500 before I got there from nine or a thousand, nine or a thousand, but I was like, Jesus, is it even worth 500 for me? Am I going to be able to sell this thing? It is rough, but, you know, it's solid underneath, and it drives freaking great. I mean, it freaking drives awesome. So, yeah, there's that. I'm going to quick start ripping this tape off before I run into issues. What a colossal waste of tape. They do not give this stuff away. It's like four bucks a roll, 450 a roll. I went to two different stores actually because the first store had it for five something a roll and I was refusing to pay that. So I actually drove around. And in Michigan here we have a store called Myers that's kind of like Walmart. And they had it for 450 a roll. They're gonna save them a buck, but. So I bought three rolls and just wasted damn near one on that. <laughs> Sold a few sets of tires, so that was good. Made a couple hundred bucks off of that. But yeah, you'll have to stay tuned, see what I buy today, and uh, 
stay tuned for the junkyard video. I wanted to pop in, show you these cars. It's going to be a short one, but yeah, let me know in the comments. Should I paint the front fender like I did the back, like I did, you know, fender armor? What do you think? It cleans it up. It's still going to be rusty. It's still going to make money. You know, would you have bought this Jeep or would you have stayed away from it? For 450 let me know what you'd have done. That thing, I don't know if I should give it to my son or not or if I should make money. So we'll see. But thanks for watching. I really appreciate you guys' support. Um, if you haven't, consider subscribing. You know, see what I buy and see what I do to these things. Look forward to that junkyard video working on the camper. Next video is probably going to be a long one. So thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Peace.